Good afternoon, friends. I'm Stephen Bernoulli with Israeli News Live. Listen here, uh, we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things here tonight, uh, but unfortunately, I can't run everything here on Israeli News Live on our YouTube channel there. Too much risk, way too much risk there. So uh, listen, if you want to catch all of this, uh, you know, the video tonight, I'll, I'll run the first part of this there, but it gets to one part there. It's a little iffy, and I know it probably sounds silly for me to say that, but there's one place that I started talking a little bit about one country, and that's what got me shut down to start with on my first strike. So I can't go into that again here. I don't want to take that risk. All right. So at any rate, so I apologize for that. Listen, catch the entirety of the video here over at uh, Patreon, of course, naturally. You can catch it there. iConnectFX.com. Uh, you can catch it over there because that is going to be a new platform we're using more and more often. That's the same as EventmasterFX.com, but it is iConnect. They changed the name, iConnectFX.com. And by the way, if you're having any trouble with that site, you have any comments about something that help you, uh, email me about it. It's IsraeliNewsLive at gmail.com. Put iConnectFX.com in the subject line there. They're wanting to do what they can to help people to have a better experience. Also, brand new tube. Uh, uh, you could do the same thing with them. Just give me some comments there. Let me know, but put brand new tube if that's where you're at. And I can send that to the creators of that platform as well. Anyway, let's get right into this message tonight. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, we're going to be talking about quite a few things going on in the world today. And I'll just kind of highlight some of it for you. Um, we'll talk about the first screen here, next couple, few screens here in just a few minutes there, but we're going to be talking about the president. Uh, of course, he has gone to the hospital. Uh, my own doctor texted me tonight, totally blown away by this. I'll get into that with you tonight. Uh, also, we're, we're dealing with the Azerbaijan and Armenians, uh, really pushing towards war. And of course, another incident, Azerbaijan bombing a bus with uh, journalists in it. Uh, not, not directly, but it just happened to happen as a result. Going to be talking a little bit about Syria preparing to do an operation near uh, the Golan border there uh, of Israel. Not too, too far from it there. Get into that a little bit. And of course, also this alleged peace deal that may be going on between uh, Syria and and uh, Israel, is it really true? What? How is Syria responding to this? I, I personally can be, believe that it's happening, but we know that Damascus is going to be taken out one way or the other. Israel will be involved in that as well as the United States. Uh, so, and, and I am really expecting that to happen pretty soon there. But Syria is rejecting that. Uh, they stand with the Palestinians, according to the article that we're going to be getting into here. Uh, and Netanyahu is not ruling out a preemptive strike on Iran. So we are really on the verge of some very serious issues there. And, uh, and of course, the president finally comes out and condemning white supremacy. I'll play a little clip of that for you. And, you know, I have to tell you, regardless of the intel that I'm getting on the Messiah of Israel, and that being a former Israeli commander, I just can't seem to break away completely from Jared Kushner as possibly being that key figure. Uh, I say that, well, I'll explain it when I get into this here at the end of the broadcast here. Let's get back started at the very beginning. And uh, this was, of course, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, this, not, uh, this is a new video uh, that I just ran across today uh, from Brazil. Uh, this is, of course, dated October the 1st, 9.04 p.m. there. And they're showing several clips there of asteroids uh, or a single asteroid, not asteroids, plural, coming in and hitting the ground. Of course, lighting up the sky as it came in. There goes another version of it right there. Um, let me back up, though. Hang on just a second. Let me just see something here. All right. Uh, okay, it goes down. All right, all right, yeah, so it's two different clips. The other one's uh, seen from a city angle. They show you there. Uh, it's coming off there to your right side of the screen, I guess, like some kind of a, a cam there. Uh, this one catches it, I think, in the background there, the, this asteroid coming out. All the same asteroid there you're seeing in your, in your pictures there. 
Uh, this one shows it off of some kind of, I guess, satellite cam. I don't know exactly how that is, but lights up pretty big. And then, of course, this one right here coming in as well. Pretty, pretty huge uh, as far as lighting up the sky. And I was actually in a conference call, actually two conference calls today. And uh, uh, only the second one, though, they're talking about the end of October, November. And again, I have no clue, no clue about whether these things are fully accurate, is there going to be the rods of God? That's another one I keep wondering about. Are we going to have false flag rods of God type scenario and they blame it on asteroids? But clearly what happened here in Brazil, what happened just yesterday, that one there, uh, these, uh, the one there over Pennsylvania, this has, these are just regular, you know, small asteroids coming in. And it was because one thing I've been trying to get some clarification on is whether or not the reason why they're not being spotted so easily is because of them coming in from the direction of the sun. Uh, my FEMA engineer did confirm, he confirmed that with me today, that it is because they come in from the direction of the sun. So uh, maybe that's why we're not getting any getting anything about this type of things there i don't know how what size these would be here anyway the, the ones that are coming in now but they do appear to be small and uh not so much big in size but another thing going back to that march uh, letter i shared with you guys back a while back from my pentagon friend uh all the different weather changes the the the, the, the dracio storms he wasn't calling them dracio storms but 100 plus mile an hour storms that hit out like Cross, he actually names Nebraska as one of the places there, but also hurricanes, increased number of hurricanes. Here we are in October, tropical depression 25 is strengthened into a tropical storm gamma in the Western Caribbean Sea. And look at the formation already right here. I'm really beginning to wonder if that one is not going to turn into a hurricane as well. If it does, if it does. I know that already we are at kind of like a record year. There is, I think, only six other times in history that we have, I forget the number of storms that were named that actually come into the Gulf like that. Well, if this one ends up going into the Gulf and it turns into a hurricane, that might actually break the record. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You know, uh, I have to start with my son on that one. He's, he's the brains on weather. I mean, this guy, he knows his stuff. So he'll let me know, and then I can update you guys on that as well. Anyway, the president, let me go into this one right here. This is on the New York Times, president in hospital as he battles COVID, right? You know, he's wearing his mask, boy. They got him wearing that mask now. It took him a little while to make him uh, become compliant to the uh, MK Ultra techniques there. And uh, I mean, this really smells like, something's going on. I mean, this is so bad. My own doctor actually tweeted me, or not tweeted, but texted me tonight. He says, incredibly sinister that they take him to the hospital. He says, he was walking and talking. Why would you take someone to the hospital in that condition? Why not just stay at the White House? If he gets worse, then sure, take him. But why now? Why would you inject the president of the U.S. with an experimental IV drug? How do you know that 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 it uh, excuse me that it won't harm him? All this does not make sense. That's right there from my own doctor, good friend of mine, you know, and and he's texting me that type of information. That's a doctor that's paying attention to what's going on. He knows something's up. Well, I called him. We talked for about an hour or so, you know. He just like, he said, he said, I'm just, I can't believe it. I just can't believe that the president of the United States with as much medical team that he has, even at the White House, that they would just up and, and whisk him off to the hospital. He said they could do anything to this man once they get him there. He said, and if he, if they decide now that, of course, he's got COVID, something could happen to him. He said, nobody would never know the difference. They would just assume COVID took him out. But, you know, and he's also told me he's known for a fact people being tested for COVID will be get test positive that don't have not one trace of COVID. 
Oh, man. Well, anyway, you know, let's let's move on. Though. Here's the president right here. This was, uh, I think, from uh, uh, from uh, Sputnik News there. Uh, thanks, supporters, for the well wishes. Let's just listen into the president for a moment here. Thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well. But we're going to make sure that things work out. The First Lady is doing very well. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will never forget it. Thank you. You know what? If he really does have any kind of little flu-like virus or something, give the man some vitamin C by Bane and get him over what's wrong with him. You know? I mean, seriously. Are we really going to be this naive in this country? You know, the Chinese even did the test over there. They actually did a testing to see if it would actually work because an American doctor was a Chinese-American goes there and explains to them that vitamin C intravenously would help their patients. And they did the placebo with the real vitamin C and discovered that that doctor was right. But if you dare bring that out on the Internet, Google will make sure they ban you right off the Internet and not let you speak that word. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, let's move on here. Azerbaijan bombs bus carrying Russian, Armenian, and U.S. media personnel. This is according to uh, uh, some of the RIA correspondent who had wrote about this. The third targeted incident in two days in Karabakha, a region of RIA Novosti, reported that a bus carrying media personnel from Russia, Armenia, along with an American volunteer had been bombed by Azerbaijan. That's the area right there. You can see Azerbaijan. We got right here Armenia. To the left of your screen, I'll back it out just a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. So, so, so you understand what where this is in the region of things. Just south of Georgia, uh, also a little, little tiny country in there, and just above Georgia is Russia. Uh, and, of course, to the south is Turkey and Iran. And uh, so, you know, always disputes going on between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. And, of course, that little red dot right there, that is the Karbaka there where they say that Azerbaijan hit that bus out there. Moving on to Syria. The Syrian army is preparing for new operation near the occupied Golan Heights there. Uh, and, by the way, that is in uh, kind of, uh, excuse me, right there. Let me just.